Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So this is just going to be a little bonus video. So as I've told you guys, I did take the weekend off. So this is my one weekend a month off. And today when I'm filming is Saturday, September 26th. So what I decided to do um, on my Saturday off with my husband was just to get in the car and drive up toward the uh, North Georgia mountains and do a little bit of antique shopping and thrift store shopping and I must say there were no epic finds today um, I did pick up a few things but yeah um, but as much as I do love antique shopping and thrift shopping to be honest with you just the drive up there and looking at the beautiful scenery that absolutely made my day so it doesn't really bother me that much that we have no epic find for today's video um, I've had a great day, and then uh, on our way back, we stopped and had dinner. So, yeah, it's been a really, really good day. So, I just, I'm just i going to go ahead and get into this share right quick. Um, so, at one flea market, I bought this for $2. It's just a pack of some linens, and this right here is like really soft, um, and I have no idea what it is. Uh, none whatsoever. But I thought it would be really good to um, either use, because it is fairly thick. So I thought it would be good to use as uh, like the hinges for flips. Um, it could also be used on, um, you know, lace snippets, clusters. That's the word I'm looking for, clusters. So we have that. And then in here we also have some of this blue and it's a really cute color i like it so we have that piece of that and then we have these and i have no idea what these are but that's got the word peach stamped on it um yeah oh sorry guys i hit you but yeah i have no idea what this is but yep so we got that so there's a piece of that and then it's the same material again but this one actually has the word ivory stamped on it so again I'm not sure what that means or what that's for but we can definitely get some use out of that and then just a little piece of this material so we have that and then we have these guys are they're really pretty but they were actually cut off of a shirt the sleeve of a shirt or yeah or the bottom of a pair of pants i'm not sure um but i think these two are really pretty patterns so we can definitely find a use for that and then just this this feels like cotton it looks like it may have been a pillowcase or something because it has a seam there um, but if you look real close, it actually has flowers on it. So then we have that one. So I thought that was, you know, pretty good for two bucks. I'll give you two bucks for that all day long. So we have that little bag of some fabrics to do something with. I actually need to get some, go through my fabrics and get some fabric bundles in my shop all right let's get this down here all right next for a dollar i got 12 metal paper clips and they are shaped like cameras so i thought that was pretty cute for a buck so we got those let's see and i also got so we passed this one place and I seriously got really, really excited because the big sign outside said Fabric and Lace Outlet. So, we actually did kind of a U-turn to go back to it actually on our way home. And, well, I have to say there was really nothing about that store that was a good price uh except for a couple of things um the fabric was all way too expensive 
Um, the cheapest fabric in there was four ninety nine a yard, um, and I don't think there's anything outlet about four ninety nine a yard. So of course I got no fabric. However, they did have, and this is five yards. They did have some lace already bundled up, and so I did pick up some of this. So we've got that blue. So I got uh, looks like three of those. And then we got this that's a little bit thinner, not as wide. And I ended up getting one, two, looks like three of those. And then I got this pink. So we got that. So that's a pretty color. And then I don't usually get green, and I actually don't think I had any green, so I just picked up two of the green and again I think that's it's really pretty so if we need green we have green so one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine things of lace and it's five yards a piece so that's a lot of lace right there guys. all right so I did get that <coughs> excuse me and then in that same shop they had these um, little ticket things so I picked up two bundles of those I thought those would be cute in a journal so you could just put them in there the way that they are or you could embellish them so I got two I don't even know how many's in here guys so I got two packs of those looks like there's a good bit in there so I got those and then I also got because I had gotten me some embroidery floss and it's still just in the bag so for $1.69, and I don't know if that's a good price or not because I've never bought these, I got 25 uh, floss bobbins. So, and they are plastic. So, yeah, I guess that's just to put your um, embroidery floss around. So I picked up two packs of those um, for $1.69. So we got those. I'll have fun wrapping there. And then the other thing I got from that shop were some beads. And I think these here were um, four for a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. But I thought these would look cute on... I'm going to try my hand at tassels again, guys, because my friend Jovi has definitely inspired me. But we got all these little beads. And, of course, most of them has just a little bit of pink on them. And... Yep. Can you guys see that? I don't think it's going to focus. But yeah, it's really pretty. So I got those at four for a dollar. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So we got those. And then I got these. And these, I believe, were three for a dollar. Um, so this whole pack was nine dollars. That may be a little on the expensive side. But I don't know. And I also fell in love with these beads because they are so pretty. So we have these different ones in like the oblong shaped. And I just fell in love with those colors. And then we have these, of course, that have pink on them. Look how pretty those are. And then I did go ahead and get some that had blue looking, bluish green looking colors on them. So those are really pretty too. So I got those. Um, yeah, so these will be for, of course, something really special because of what we paid for them. All right, so we got those beads. And then another shop I stopped at. I actually got these next three items from there. And, of course, this book looks like it is falling apart and has seen better days. Um, but this is a Congress of Nations by... Let me see. Let me open it up. You can't really see it. Okay. A Congress of Nations. An essay by William Ladd. Uh, America, a founder of the American Peace Society 
And this is Boston American Peace Society, 1869. So, yeah, I got this book. Again, even though it's falling apart, I still love it. I love these antique book pages. So, we got that. Yep, still falling apart, guys. All right, see, yep, still falling apart, guys. Um, and then I got, this book is also in pretty rough shape, although the spine still looks like it's intact, but probably barely. But this is the Bobsy Twins in the country. Uh, Laura Lee Hope. So the cover is not in great condition. You can see all that damage there. And that is not what I paid, guys. So not what I paid. And this is um, copyright 1907. There is some writing here, but it is in pencil. It says Douglas Moore. Um, it looks like Miss Harry. So dot, dot, dot. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up. Um, I just, I'm not familiar with these books. I've just heard of the Bopsy Twins before. Um, yeah, these pages are really, really delicate. But yeah, um, I may actually read this book. Maybe become a little bit more familiar with the Bopsy Twins. Or maybe I can Google it. But again, guys, not in great shape. Um, but... For what little I paid for it, definitely worth it. So, yeah. Fourth of July, fun in the woods. Oh, look at the illustration, guys. Let's see. We got any more? I don't really see any more. All right, so we got that book. And then uh, the last thing that I got today was this. Are you guys ready? Oops, look, nothing there. Sorry. Okay, are you guys ready? And y'all know I need more stamps, like I need a hole in the head. But I found some things in here that were really interesting to me, and I will point those out. But for the time being, I'm just going to flip through. So if nothing else, this can, and I'm just going to keep it this way and use it to put some of my stamps in. And this is a whole page that has nothing on it, so I have plenty of room there. Lots of room here to add um, some stamps there. So I really do like how this is put together. Um, but yeah, so we have, this is Germany, Norway, United States. That's empty. I got plenty of those. Uh, Hungary. It looks like Spain. And then we have Great Britain and Colonies. And this, let's see. Czechoslovakia, um, India, does that say Jordan, what does that say, no, Japan, let's see what this one is, under this stamp, not sure what that is, oh, it's still Czechoslovakia, okay, and then Denmark, and Belgium, Canada, Portugal, I'm not sure what this is, it's maybe still the Netherlands, so these are pretty cool, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Turkey, Italy, Rachel, have some Italy stamps, honey, those are pretty too, alright, Uganda, Got one from Uganda. It's pretty cool. This is France here. French colonies here. And Australia. No, Austria. No, Australia. Yeah, Australia. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Australia. Finland, Romania, Ireland. One little bitty stamp from Ireland. And then we have Hong Kong. Uh, I 
I think that's Venezuela. Let's see. Yeah, Venezuela. Couldn't hardly read the writing. Uh, Slovakia. Argentina. Then we have... Philippines, we have one. I cannot read what that is. Uh, Helavita. I have no idea where Helavita is. But we have Helavita, y'all. And then this looks like... I don't know what that is. Servige? I don't know. It's S-V-E-R-I-G-E. -E. I have no idea how to say that. But anyway. And then back here. These guys are ones that I had not saw before. Um, but this is just a stamp. Stamp. Like it was already on the envelope. And it was cut out. And this is the envelope. But this is an actual stamped stamp, if that makes sense. And this is West Virginia, December 27th. It looks like 1940. Yep, 1940. And that's where somebody wrote on the inside. So I'm not sure what kind of card it was on, but I thought these were pretty cool and this is Ohio Mount Vernon October 1st 1940 at 3 p.m. so again there was something written on the back of it and they've cut this off so I thought those were definitely pretty cool let's see get that down in there somewhere let's see what this one is 1932 can't really tell. It's West Virginia, but I can't really tell. And this was typed, and it says, Dear Sister. Yep. So, I thought those were pretty cool. And I saw those in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have one here. It says, Always use zip code. I don't know what that is. Dear Editor. Please change the da to Thursday, November 16th. I have no idea what that is. But yeah, so those are pretty cool. And then let's see. It says Hartford, Connecticut. And there's that. This one, guys, does not have a date on it. This is November 25th, 1949. Uh, Fairmont. West Virginia and then this is state of West Virginia um, something something more junior governor December 1972 that's pretty cool oh you guys can't see that sorry about that guys so we have that so I just thought those were interesting I hadn't saw those before I'm not sure what this one is let's see what this is okay postage and fees paid US Department of HEW and I have no idea what that stands for so if you guys know what HEW stands for let me know so yeah those are pretty cool and then this was in the back this is just the way that it came so this is an order form and it's from December 18th, 1956. And this is what this person actually paid for stamps. So it's got Germany and Belgium, France, Great Britain. So this is the original receipt, I'm assuming, for when he purchased these from H.E. Harris and Company the world's largest stamp firm Boston Massachusetts Massachusetts how do you say that guys <laughs> no laughing at me alright so in here it says duplicate stamps 1956 to 1962 so there's just a bunch of different stamps in there and then we have duplicate special delivery stamps 
so we have this which I have never seen before either yeah these are the same and then this is duplicate postage due stamps postage due 10 okay I get it I get it get it I got it y'all so there's a lot of those three cents ten cents six cents I have to see yeah those will come apart so those are pretty cool because I don't have any of the postage due stamps I don't know what that means actually okay duplicate envelope stamps oh okay these I found very very intriguing because I had never seen this before so again this is like a stamp that's stamped a color but it's also embossed this right here is raised up can you guys see that on the back can you see how it's embossed and I have never seen these before and this is uh, West Virginia uh, 1931 Clarksburg two cents but I thought that was really cool so that's like a red one this is like a purple one four cents and again it's raised so you can see that it is embossed but I just thought these were really cool and then this is a blue actually 1919 is this one and that's another nope that's actually purple like a deep purple 1939 and this is 1936 and then we have some more red ones two cents and again they're like embossed so I guess maybe these were envelopes that already had a stamp on it that was ready to go um, I'm not sure what the date is on that one but yeah maybe that's what these were just envelopes that already had the stamp on it and you just bought the stamp and the envelope together and this is the Statue of Liberty and again it is embossed if you can see that on the back and then here's one this is 1901 so I just thought these were super cool Eagle eight cents eagle yep oh then we have bowling who knows again you can see how it's raised up and then there's a purple one with the eagle's head five cents and then here's this one it's like 1914 1901 so yeah I thought those were super cool I have not saw those before so we have those and then in here we have duplicate stamps 1847 to 1915 so these are really old guys so these are super cool let's see yep these are really cool so yeah so these are oh shucks let me throw them everywhere guys so these are 1847 to 1915 and then these are duplicate stamps 1935 to 1944 so there's some really cool ones in here as well love all these colors I like that bright green so yeah those are pretty cool it's a good bit of stamps in there guys um, and then this is 1945 to 1955 so we've got a lot of cool stamps in there yep Statue of Liberty and this is a canal zone stamp and there's just one in there Canal Zone, Airmail, CZ something. I'm not sure what that is. October 26, 1970. Oh, it says something Air Force. Okay. Um, yeah, that's kind of cut off. I can't tell what that is. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So we have that. Uh okay document doc documentary stamps I can't I can't talk 
yeah I'm not sure what that stands for look at this on the back look at that writing I wished I had that see that writing huh it says February 20th 19 and you can't see the rest of it and this had that writing on the back of it as well sure wish they hadn't cut that up and on the back of this as well can see that writing yep they're all pretty much the same whatever that was on the back of them that writing yep pretty cool anyway pretty cool pretty cool all right so we have those and then we have 1916 to 1934 let's see what these look like okay got some red and brown it's United States two cents and one cents okay we have that and then this was in here this looks like a postcard maybe or you know I don't know maybe this is one of the things where that's just printed and people just wrote on the back of it and said who it was to so we got that it's really thick too and then there was just some loose stuff back here. I guess I could just put it in one of the envelopes. USO one. Look at that bird. Isn't that so pretty? That's a pretty one. So yeah, we'll just stick these in here for right now so that they don't get lost. And then there was a couple of postcards. I have no idea where this is. Let's see if it tells me. Madrid. Okay, so I know where it's at. It's Madrid, guys. Alright, so this was to a doctor in Indiana. Robert Lewis, M.D., Lawrence, Indiana, USA. Can't see a postmark with the date on it. But it was from Spain. Okay. And then there's two of these in there, which were really cute. Oh, this is to that same doctor. It says, Dear Doctor, here in Mont Montevideo, as wherever modern surgery is practiced, pentanol sodium continues to grow in favor for intravenous anesthesia. A solid background of more than 2,300 articles published in the world medical press confirms its advantages. Quick response, moment to moment, control, smooth, painless induction, and pleasant, swift recovery. Okay, so there you go. This was, this one's dated 1956. And... It looks like that is from Uruguay. Crazy. And then there was another one that says the same thing. This says it's to Charles Manley, M.D., Saradina, Ohio. I guess that's how you say that. Sorry if I'm not saying that right and that's where you're from. This is Peru, evidently. And this is to uh, Dr. Robert Lewis, Lawrence, Lawrence, Indiana. And can't really tell where that's from, guys. Oh, well, from Peru. Duh. Gosh, Lori. And this is also 1956. So that was in there. And then this was in there. Okay, so see, that's another one. Okay, it looks like there was more with it, so maybe it folded. And then they just used a typewriter. This is from uh, F.W. Thompson in Sarasota, Florida. Um, U.S. postage, uh, May 18th, uh, 1965. 
so that's cute all right guys so that is it that was my haul for today on my little trip up to the north georgia mountains with my husband on my wonderful wonderful saturday off so i hope you all enjoyed this haul um thank you guys for joining me i really do appreciate all your support of my youtube channel you guys are amazing and i will go ahead and let you guys know because i am filming this on saturday night and i'm ready to do some crafting so i love you guys please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you all later bye